Hey guys, Roshi here, and today you're watching a 21 and 3 on the map of Newtown using the FAL. Pretty insane gameplay, in my opinion. I've been pumping out these 20 pluses. If you follow me on Twitter, then you know what I've been doing uh, in Black Ops 2 recently. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter already, link will be in the description. Be sure to stay connected. All my links are down there, as always. Twitch, uh, Twitter, subscribing on YouTube. The whole gist of it. Uh, I'm considering getting more things, such as, like, Instagram and stuff, if you guys would like that. Uh, but anyway, gotta talk about a couple things at the start of the video. First off, I want to say shout out to Scott or Sis of Newtown. Thank you for letting me post on your channel for Sub Sunday. Uh, it was really, really, it was a really great opportunity to let you, let me post on your channel. Uh, thank you so much. I grew, like, 15 subscribers out of it. It was ridiculous. Uh, and also, I, I would like to say shout out to Voltage Clan for letting me uh, post content on their channel as well. Uh, my channel's just been growing ridiculously. I've, I've grown at least 20 subscribers over the past two days. So, I wanted to give a quick shout out to them. Both of their links will be in the description. I said that I wouldn't give a shout out to Voltage, but you know what? You know, it's it's there. It's out there already. I'm the one take wonder at commentaries. I'm just going to keep it in there. I don't care, you guys are great, you guys are a great bunch of people, I had a ton of fun in that Skype call uh, a week ago, there's so much fun, I can't even believe it, um, believe it. but uh, anyway, today, actually I had one more thing to talk about, I want to talk about streaming real quickly, because uh, I really have been enjoying streaming recently, I've been, not me streaming personally, but you know, watching other people stream, uh, it's been really, really fun, I've been watching a bunch of people, I've been watching Tim, Nick, uh, or also known as Tim the Tatman, or uh, Nick, or I'm Mark Man, uh, Hiko, Hiko, whatever the hell you call yourself, uh, Counter-Strike uh, player uh, for Complexity, I've been watching some competitive live shit, I've been watching the whole gist of it, and I want to get into it, I want to start streaming it more uh, frequently, I've streamed a couple weeks ago, I think, um, no, about two weeks ago, it, it, was a, it was a ton of fun interacting with you guys, and uh, for the people who came out then, I mean, thank you so much, but uh, I will keep you updated on the streaming dealio I got going on here. I will have a face cam with it, so you will be able to see my my face. Um, a couple people actually asked me if that was my real face in my profile picture. Like, are you drunk? <laughs> I would post a picture of my. Never mind. Anyway, yes, it is me in the profile picture, but uh, I haven't shown myself. Like, on a, I've shown myself in a Skype call. I'm not afraid to show myself on the internet. I mean, it's fine. I don't really care at this point. Uh, I've shown it to a couple of people already. But anyway. Getting really off topic here. Today, what I want to talk about is gaming. Gaming, gaming, gaming. I want to talk about a variety of games, and I also want to talk about myself. I want to talk about Call of Duty. I want to talk about Counter Strike. I want to talk about First Person. I want to talk about the whole dealio here. All right. What makes gaming fun for people? Well, in a lot of people's mind, gaming is an escape for them. Maybe they have a little bit of a worse life, or maybe they just don't enjoy real life and they want to go to a whole different dimension man maybe they want to be a soldier but they have you know something wrong with them maybe they have some mental does not mental fucking god i you know never mind what i just said there just <laughs> disregard it anyway there's these fps's that are so much fun and it, it's it provides a whole new universe and whole new set of opportunities for people. It literally creates jobs for people. Twitch, YouTube, whatever you want to do, there's always opportunities out there. If you dream that you think you can do this, then you can for sure do it. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you cannot do what you want to do the most in your life. People then think you can make money off of playing video games. Look at where we are now. I'm posting videos to YouTube. I'm not getting paid for it, but I'm still posting videos to YouTube. Look at like LEA and, and look at T Martin and, and just Minnesota Burns and a bunch of people out here. They're making money off of this. They're making lots of money off of YouTube. PewDiePie, the most person subscribed on YouTube right now is a gaming YouTuber. Not even real life. People that, when YouTubers created, they didn't think, oh, we're creating this for YouTube videos, for, for gaming videos. No, they, they were like, all right, maybe people will post, like, little clips onto this, and, you know, it'll be kind of a cool website idea. But, let's see, seven years later, six or seven years later, look at where we came, guys. Twitch, I mean, I'm not sure how Twitch, how long Twitch has been on. I know it's been on for a long time. I think it's, it's really blown up in the last year, that's all I know. But people are growing off of that. I mean, every single... 
way that you think you can make money off of gaming, there is probably a way to make money off of gaming. People going to tournaments, you ha you don't have to be good at the game, you can post videos to YouTube, but you can also be really good at the game and make money off of competitive matches, which is ridiculous. Um, and not only Call of Duty, which I feel like a lot of people in the Call of Duty community really only look at, at Call of Duty, but you have to look at the bigger picture and everything. I'm going to do a, a, a separate commentary on this. Um, but, there's there's many other things in the bigger picture of of competitive gaming and gaming in general. There's storyline games, which I'm not a fan of, and people can tell you that I'm not a fan of story-based games. Of course, I do like stories. I like movies and everything, but uh, they're just not my cup of tea. Um, you have to think of Counter-Strike. You have to think of Minecraft. You have to think of... Uh, let's see, I'm looking over here, Halo is, is over there, and Rage, that's what I'm seeing over here in my game collection, guys. Uh, Rage is over there, Rage is a storyline game, uh, only storyline game that I've ever played and ever, well, ever liked, I guess, in a way. But there's so many more options than just Call of Duty, and I did a commentary on this on another person's channel, and uh, it really got a lot of feedback and received it very, very well, um, but... I mean, overall, it is just, it's ridiculous. Just think about it for a little bit. I know this has been a kind of anti-productive commentary, but hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay connected with the links in the description. Twitch.tv backslash Roshi TV. Twitter.com backslash Roshi Z Roshi, I think. Uh, and yeah, I will see y'all later. Peace.